Hey guys, welcome to Leaves and Lungs. So today we're going to see current affairs related to agriculture for the day March 3, 2017. So in this uh, current affairs, we're going to see or focus mainly on two things. One is the new rice varieties that has been recently launched today and uh, something about aphids. So let's get started. So the news is Punjab Agriculture University or otherwise called as PAU has recently released new varieties of rice, mung bean, basmati and sugarcane for general cultivation in Punjab. So uh, all these crop varieties will have silent features such as short duration maturing uh, very early and have the yields very much higher compared to the previous uh, versions and they will be like water lodging and uh, pest tolerant in some cases also. So the first variety that they launched is Parmal Rice Variety otherwise called as PR126. So the special feature is it's an early maturing variety and it matures about in 123 days. And also it is resistant to 7 of the 10 pathogens that causes bacterial blight uh, pathogen mainly in Punjab. So the average yield is like uh, 30 quintal per acre. And the next variety is Spring or Sangma Mung Bean variety. So uh, usually the names are very important uh, than the number of days because in your prelims and many other MCQs only the varieties will be tested in the form of either which one will not be a uh, part of the variety that has been recently launched or it will be asked in the form of match the following. So keep your focus mainly on the names alone so otherwise the days and all it's not that much important. And the uh, next variety they, they launched is Basmati Rice Variety otherwise called as CSR 30. So as you know that Basmati Rice have a slender structure. So this, these uh, CSR 30 also, also have that extra long slender grains with excellent cooking and eating quality. So the special feature is they mature in about 142 days and the yield is like 13.5 quintals per acre. So that's all about this kind of uh, that is that's all about this Basmati Rice. And the second news is like uh, many agriculture universities are cautioning the farmers against aphid damage to wheat crops. So aphid is mainly a pathogen that mainly affects wheat plants. So they said like uh, cloudy weather without any rainfall is highly favorable for their development. That is this is the condition where aphids thrive. So as I said cloudy weather is the main condition that where aphids thrive. We'll see what are aphids and uh, how do they affect the plants. So uh, aphids are the most important uh, insect pest of wheat and the damage is observed mainly in the month of March. So they are like very small, soft bodied, green to blackish, green color, louse like structure. And they are mainly found in colonies. And uh, they suck the sap from the leaves and the maturing grains. So in this way, the grains will be uh, without any proper nutrition. So this is the image of the aphids mainly affecting the wheat plants. So you can clearly see that they are usually present in the group or clusters and they are like a green, green louse like structures. Can you see the image? This is how louse will actually look like. And uh, in order to remove these there are like uh, biological control methods also like the natural enemies like uh, structures like coccinellids and syrphids and uh, chrysophytes they prey upon the aphids in the field and keep their population below their economic threshold. So until they production until their proliferation is kept out the wheat damage will be like more and more so the warning from the uh, agriculture university is like an eye opener for many farmers so they have to uh, control the aphids growth substantially so guys that brings an end to today's topic i hope you enjoy the lecture so uh, do keep uh, commenting do keep sharing and uh, do subscribe for a channel if you haven't for more and more awesome videos i'll see you in the next lecture thank you and have a